Good evening, everyone. How are you? We are back once again with uh, another session of India Spark live talk show. This is Rupa Tanti, the founder of India Spark. India Spark is a platform connecting the students uh, to the industry, global industry leaders across different domains to empower and develop the workforce ecosystem. So I'm just giving a quick glance of the features of the AMIT to the people who are uh, new to this. On the right hand side option, there is a raise hand where you can come online and ask the question. And there is a uh, question session where you can just type the question. This will be only done at 10 to 15 minutes uh, before wrapping up the session. Okay, I think that's clear. And today topic would be revolving around the global online learning platforms and the future of jobs. So the eminent speaker for today's session is Mr. Amit Goel, the head India and Southeast Asia edX. We welcome you onto the session, Mr. Amit. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. So let me take a, a quick a snapshot of, uh, you know, the speaker's profile. Mr. Amit Goel is a head for India and Southeast Asia, edX. edX, everybody knew that's the world's largest e-learning platform founded by MIT, USA and Harvard University. Amit is created for making India as a second largest business to consumer learners base, world's largest learners base of edX. Prior to edX, Amit was the head of education solutions business for Samsung Electronics. He was responsible for the product development of various education mobility products being used by the leading edtech and test prep companies of the world today, such as Baiju's Tab Learning. Amit was also known as a man behind launching the world's cheapest PC tablet with the name Akash, the one laptop per child initiative of the Indian government. Amit holds a bachelor's degree in IT. He also holds the master's in business from Oxford Brookes University, Oxford, and the various IT and the business certifications from the World Bank, MIT USA, IM, and Microsoft. Amit also chairs the IoT India Congress and advises the Indian government and the startups. Once again, we welcome you uh, to this session, Mr. Amit. Over to you. I would like you to show a few of the slides of edX to our audience who are waiting for today's session. Sure. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. It's a pleasure to be here. I hope my voice is loud and clear. Yes. How many students do we have live online right now? How many? What is How the number? Many? Of... Uh, 322. Oh, wow. That's... 328. It's increasing. Wow. This number is increasing. Okay. So, okay. So let's begin. I'm, uh... Hello, everyone. I'm uh, Amit Goel. I manage edX for India. What edX is, I'm quickly going to explain to you by some slides. During my talk, I'll talk about what is the future of education. I'll talk about what is the future of learning. A lot of innovation is happening all around the world. All the business models are changing. There are some unprecedented nudging which has happened due to COVID-19 and all those things. So in the next 30 minutes, I'll quickly take you through what we have been doing to revolutionize access to higher quality education. Uh, what is important for you to understand is today I will be talking about how each one of you who is attending this call can actually take an absolutely free online course from a top ranking university of the world, such as Oxford, Berkeley, Columbia, IIT, IM. So if you are a student who has not been able to get admission into IITs or IMs, don't lose hope. I will be telling you how by sitting at your home, you could learn from those institutes online and also get a certificate from them that you can add to your resume, which will help you with your employability skills. So I will be sharing my screen here. Just give me one second. Okay. 
So, Rupa, is my screen visible to everyone? No, it's not visible. Okay, one second. Yeah, it's now visible, Amit. Perfect. So, what you see in this slide is the interlink between universities and corporates. I will be talking about the future of work and education today. Before I talk, uh, this is a key question that I would like to ask everyone. Uh, my screen is a bit, you know, flickering a bit. I don't know what might the reason be, but uh, is it flickering at your end as well, Rupa? Or is it no. Just no, it's stable. It's good. Okay, is it? Okay. So, I want to ask, uh, you know, in this era, we are all talking about losing a lot of jobs to automation and machine learning and robots. They say robots are going to take our jobs away. So, what do you think in the next 10 years, how many jobs do you think will be losing to job, you know, robots and machines and artificial intelligence? I would like to see some answers from students. So, Rupa, if you could do me a favor and check how the learners are, uh, how the audience is reacting to it. I yeah. want you to tell me what percentage of the jobs will go away in the next 10 years. Audience, a question to you. Please start typing in the chat box. What percentage of the jobs that we have today will go away in the next few years? Sixty percent of a student from SOA University. Sixty percent. One person said twenty percent. Sixty. Okay. IT sector. Seventy percent. Fifty percent. Sixty. Okay. okay. I just heard fifty. So that's the magic number that we were looking at. Okay. So I remember last year, there were numerous research which were done by, let's say, the University of Oxford, who said in the next ten years. 50% of the jobs that exist today will be completely transformed or will not exist. Now, by that standard, if you see anyone working right next to you, you will not see that person doing the same job in the next 10 years. Imagine 50% is a very stark. So, and this has been a view from the many sci-fi movies. Now imagine you reporting to a robot and robot doesn't really understand human emotions. You have to work according to them. You have to deliver quality. Else, you're losing it to machines. So this has been a scary sight, but this is quite practical as well. Uh, I've seen this in the numerous... Uh, uh, for example, there were about 60% job cuts by Qualcomm last year. 60% of the workers in their factories were replaced by humans, uh, uh, by robots. The same is being happening in the workspaces or in the warehouses of Amazon. Heck, today you go to, uh, let's say, a McDonald's. You go to the counter, and there is a smiling man behind taking your, uh, taking your order and giving you your favorite burger. What I've seen at various airports is now they've completely replaced those humans. You don't have to go to a counter. There will be a kiosk. You go to that kiosk, select your order. You want a burger, you want some fries, you select your drink, you make the payment. As soon as you make the payment, the order directly goes at the back end. Over there, your order is processed and it directly comes at the collection counter. In all of this, there is no human interaction. So large corporates who have a huge amount of workforce who is customer facing, they're already losing it to machines. And the reason why they are making it go away with machines is not to save their salaries, but to actually bring in efficiency. Because they say humans tend to make a lot of human errors. There might be temperament issues, there might be emotional issues, they make other mistakes while taking your orders. They cannot afford to make any mistakes and deliver a lower user experience. So that is why they have to take this call to replace it. However, what we have also seen happening is the pace at which work and technology is changing. The work has been changing for a long time. For example, Rupa, I recall about 10, 12 years ago, or I mean, I would say, let's say five years ago, hmm. I used to travel extensively hmm. and I used to travel at least three to four days, three days in a week, uh, traveling to different cities. And I remember booking a cab at late night and I would tell him, 
कि भैया कल सुबह आप दस बजे आ जाना कल आप सुबह छह बजे आ जाना मुझे एयरपोर्ट जाना है एंड आई रिमेम्बर वेकिंग अप एट फाइव ओ क्लॉक गिविंग रिमाइंडर्स टू डेट कैब कंपनी एंड एट द लास्ट मिनट आई एम गेटिंग अ कैंसिलेशन मुझे नष्ट हो चुका हूँ वहां पे एयरपोर्ट से उतरे वहां पर आपको जाके टैक्सी वाले से नेगोशिएट करना पड़ रहा है But today, all of those things seem like a thing of the past. I don't have to really think twice, and I have to book an Uber. I know if I book an Uber today, within five or seven minutes, there will be a cab at my stand, right? The same thing has happened to theaters. So I remember, until before the lockdown, we used to say at least this model was quite omni, you know, quite uh, practical for US, wherein a lot of people they had completely stopped going to theaters and multiplexes. they felt they have netflix everything is there so why do you really have to go there but india mein lagta tha ki nahi yaar theater to abhi bhi chalenge movie halls to abhi bhi chalenge but now as you have seen a lot of producers are producing their content or they are broadcasting their content directly on ott platforms they are releasing their movies on amazon and netflix now when this has started happening imagine aap pehle wahan par ja ke ticket kharidte the aap snacks khate वहां पर जाने के लिए आप कैब करते थे वहां से आप निकलते थे तो आप एक डाइनिंग करते थे इस पूरे इकोसिस्टम के अंदर आप कम से कम पांच या दस इंडस्ट्रीज को एम्प्लॉयमेंट जनरेट करते थे बट आज जब आप नेटफ्लिक्स पे सेम चीज कर रहे हो तो सारे जो बिजनेसेस हैं वो खतरे में हैं। सेम थिंग टू होटल इंडस्ट्रीज यू मस्ट बी रिमेम्बरिंग की यू नो वाई गोइंग टू होटल यू वुड लुक एट यू वुड गो टू वेरियस होटेल यू वुड चेक देर रूम यू विल देन कम टू द काउंटर नेगोशिएट विद देम but today everything is changed you go to these online booking websites over there you can find the best prices you can look at the reviews you can look at the actual hotel and room images and that's it a lot of mediocres have actually gone away and hotels over 80% of the of their bookings are actually coming from websites like goai bibo and make my trip so that is how the work has been changing significantly right and a lot of, lot of these things have happened i would say in india at least in about 5 years now i remember 5 years ago if i would tell my parents ki aap ek app dalo aur ek taxi subah aap ko le jayegi hmm they would laugh at me ki why are you playing with my security i am not comfortable with that mujhe app chalani nahi aati mujhe paytm se payment karni nahi aati but today they know it is very convenient so un logon ne wo bahut basic cheeze seekh li hain kal ko agar main sochu ki kya india mein hum log ek ऐसी टैक्सी में बैठेंगे जिसमें कोई ड्राइवर ही नहीं है ड्राइवरलेस कार्स आज वो देख के लगता फनी है नो दैट्स नेवर गोना हैपन बट एक्चुअली नॉट द वे इट इज हैपनिंग द ड्राइवरलेस कार्स आर ऑलरेडी बीइंग डिप्लॉयड बाय यूबर यूएस देयर देयर हैव बीन मेनी स्टेट्स मिनोस हैव पार्टनर्ड विद ऊबर यू प्लेस योर ऑर्डर ऑनलाइन दे विल सिंपली प्लेस योर पिज्जा इन अ ड्राइवरलेस कार वहां पर आपकी ऑर्डर डेस्टिनेशन फेडेड है ड्राइवर कार विल कम वहां पर आप जाओगे आपके पास नोटिफिकेशन आ जाएगी आपने hmm. सीधा अपना पिज्जा निकाला एंड दैट्स इट इमेजिन एक कार डोमिनोज में गई वहां से आपका ऑर्डर डिलीवर करा वापस आ गई एंड इस पूरी प्रैक्टिस में कहीं मशीन ह्यूमन इन्वॉल्व ही नहीं है सो दिस इज अथिंग विच इज हैपनिंग इन द रियल टाइम सो वी कॉन्ट रियली से यू नो मशीन विल नॉट टेक अवर जॉब अवे इट इज अरियस थ्रेट इट इज हैपनिंग वाई वी आर टॉकिंग and now you know there is a pre covid era and there is a during covid era and there is going to be a post covid era so i used to say and in fact i initially just asked ki uh, 50% of the jobs are going to go away in the next 10 years but this was pre covid today when we have seen covid we know that the numbers are going to be substantially larger in internet businesses there have been job losses of about 20 to 30% 25% to 30% in real estate it is much higher travel and tourism it has about 60 to 65% of job losses so imagine what is happening like i remember i was uh, chatting with uh, you know a senior leader of a leading airlines and he was saying that you know amit moving forward the big that airlines will have will not be from, you know one another as you go the biggest competition spice jet or go air होगा टुडे द बिगेस्ट कंपेटिटर टू एयरलाइंस एंड ऑल ऑफ द एयरलाइंस दैट यू सी हियर इज स्काइप इज एयर मीट नाउ इमेजिन पहले मुझे एक मीटिंग करने के लिए स्पेशली आई वुड टेक अ मॉर्निंग इवनिंग फ्लाइट एंड यू हैव यू मस्ट हैव ट्रैवल्ड ऑन बिजनेस एंड यू वुड हैव सीन ऑन अ वर्किंग डे 
five o'clock, six o'clock flights, they see the heaviest rush. Evening flights, they see the heaviest rush. People use their flights, domestic flights extensively for business meetings. But in the last three months of COVID, what we have learned is you don't really need to be across the table in front of that person to conclude a business. We are still striking multi-million dollars, dollar completely online. So Air really saw this coming. And in today's date, the biggest competition is their apps like Hangout, Google Meets, Air Meets, WebEx, Zoom. So the nudge which has happened, that has happened at an unprecedented stage. Airline industries were not ready for it. Now imagine how many pilots have lost their jobs. How many you know, cabin crew have lost their jobs. Now they don't know what to do with their skill set. Their skill set was in the airlines industries. In today's date, what else do they do while sitting at home? However, having said that, I feel that work has always changed. In the past, I remember uh, right across our house, there used to be an electronic repair shop. So, before they have it, and I think they have seen a small place now, they have a big monitor. They have a TV. Before they have a bulky CRT, cathode ray, tube, wale, bulky TVs. They have to repair it. Gradually, those people who have the CRT, who have the TV, stay, Unki chage, they came to those, uh, you know, LEDs, that screens. Mm. And that person has actually evolved from repairing those bulky monitors to touch screen, to LEDs, to LCDs. Mm. Same thing has happened to the way we interact with machines. Earlier, I remember we used to type things. There used to be typewriters. And then there came these uh, keyboard monitors. Today, a lot of thing has been happening with voice. I remember uh, I have a three-year-old kid at home and my mom doesn't know how to type. So, and I installed Alexa at my home. And Alexa, I was telling my mom, ki, mom, I've got Alexa at home. So now if you have to show YouTube to this three-year-old kid, you can simply use it. And my mom was like, I chalana nahi aata. And I said, hey, nahi karna. You just have to press that button and say, Alexa, ye wala song chala do. And it worked like a magic for her. So today, see, imagine how input has changed from typewriter to keyboards to touch to voice. And today, machines understand what you're looking for. So it, it has gone to a cognitive science. Nowadays, you may not even have to put a you know voice feed. So today, for example, if you open your Google map, Google map already knows that this time pay, this person goes to this place. Mm-hmm. It tells you in advance at 5 o'clock, there will be a traffic on your route. Do you want to, you know, go for a different route? You have not even interacted with the machine. The machines have gone smart enough. We always wonder if you ever write something on Google, let's say, book a hotel in uh, Chennai. And next day you see whether you're opening Google, whether you're opening Facebook, you're seeing flight options for Chennai, hotels in Chennai. So basically they have taken your data and machines are predicting that you are planning a trip to Chennai. So they are trying their level best to sell you the relevant services without you even asking for it. So the work has always changed. We need to really adapt ourselves. But today I'm talking about, right? So how can students really correlate to these problems? A lot of their learning happens inside class. It's irony that when we are talking about problems, these are problems from 100 years. Unfortunately, pretty much the same. Just in a color or theme. So, in classes, mein jate hai, they have their lectures at 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock. They take 5 minutes to 50 minutes long lecture. A lecture, then a break, then recess, then another. And professors, they come, they read a book, they write something on the board. Students don't really interact with them. If a student has any query or doubt, they will not really raise their hand in the middle of a lecture and ask a query or concern. So our education we have been teaching has not really advanced in schools, which poses a serious So the problem that we see with education today, it is very expensive. The quality is very poor. And no wonder there have been numerous research. I would like to cite that 80% of BTEC students in India are considered unemployable. So today you go to, you know, mass recruiters like HCL, TCS, Infosys, when they do their campus placement, after giving a campus placement, they make you go through a three to six months long training. 
just so you are ready to work you are ready to be used so our quality is facing us 80% of the youth who studying at colleges in tier 2 tier 3 even tier 1 colleges today they know there is absolutely no chance of a campus placement unhe khud se job leni padegi college se kuch nahi hoga it is moving too fast education is highly regulated in india if a college has to release a curriculum they have to get permission from aicte or ugc on what they will be teaching in a bca or btech for the next 4 years now imagine aaj agar maine apna syllabus decide kare ki main agle 4 saal liye padhaunga 4 saal mein to duniya kahan ki kahan chali jati hai and isi wajah se un bachcho ko jobs nahi mil pati because they don't have the skill set that employers are looking for this model is not scalable and education is highly bundled now we are a country which is obsessed with cricket cricket ka jo pattern tha wo pehle teen din panch din ek match chalta tha teen din panch din ke baad one day format aaya one day format pure din chalta tha ab uske baad aage t20 t20 ke baad aage leagues hongi isme aur change hoga so you see the time has become more interesting you know more precious sari cheez logo ko in demand and on demand chahiye the same thing needs to happen in education we haven't really question ki why does the btech degree still has to be 4 years mujhe 4 saal ek hi campus mein kyu padhna hai mujhe 3 saal 2 saal ek masters degree karne ke liye ek hi campus mein kyu padhna hai the learning tomorrow has to be digital it has to be on demand aaj ki date mein if a student knows ki if he does if he knows digital marketing if he knows blockchain he can be immediately employable so he can simply add that thing into his curriculum learn it and become more employable so today education is going to be on demand and you know the way you want however you want to access it you may not have to go and drag yourself to a campus at 9 o'clock in the morning subah ka campus subah ki class agar aapko apne ghar ke laptop se leni hai do it and imagine pehle hum log experiment nahi kar rahe the but aaj ki date mein all the schools they are delivering online classes so pehle these things used to look very fancy but when the real problem is there at hand that's when we realize the solutions have been into existence for a very very long time so what exactly are we doing i've talked a bit about the problems now let's talk about the solution so mit and harvard two of the top universities of the world what they realized is if i talk about colleges like iit iim mit or harvard they are all big names they represent finest quality of education in india a lot of students aspire to get into iits and iims now but they all cannot get into it some of the good ones their acceptance rate is about 0.5% 1% so there is a crazy rat race to learn content to get a learning experience at iit and iim so on the one hand we are talking about education has to be as fundamental as access to high quality oxygen but on the other hand universities like mit harvard iit iim they have a very stringent criteria they say that only the finest kids who have displayed some metal only they are eligible to get access to our education so we don't get it somehow these things don't make any sense so how do we use technology here with that vision in mind we started edx ed starts for education x could be anything which means it could be exponential there could be any limitations anything along with it so we started edx under mit and harvard today it has become the world it has become the world's largest e learning platform what we are doing is let's say i know that there are about 300 350 or maybe even higher number of students present here kisi student ko artificial intelligence padhna hai kisi ko machine learning padhni hai kisi ko business writing padhni hai kisi ko management padhna hai kisi ko data science padhna hai या किसी को सिर्फ अपने कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स एनहेंस करते हैं वट दे कैन डू दे कैन सिंपली गो टू एड एक्स डॉट ऑर्ग दे सिंपली हैव टू ओपन दिस वेबसाइट ई डी एक्स डॉट ओ आर जी इन द सर्च बार दे हैव टू राइट वट एवर कम्स टू देर माइंड एंड यू विल सी कोर्सेज कमिंग अप फ्रॉम टॉप रैंकिंग यूनिवर्सिटीज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड वी कवर ऑल द इंडिमान स्किल्स एंड टेक्नोलॉजीज देर आर थर्टी प्लस सब्जेक्ट एरियाज सो डजेंट मैटर वेदर यू आर एन आर्ट स्टूडेंट यू आर स्टडिंग एग्रीकल्चर or you are studying btech computer science mechanical civil or bcom ba whatever your stream is there is a course there is a learning area that you will be able to connect to and everything on edx comes from 150 plus top ranking universities of the world 
So on this platform, we have 3000 plus courses. Every course is designed by a top ranking university of the world. So edX does not create any content. Content comes from these universities. You learn from the same professors who teach on campus inside those universities. So if you could not get into IIM or IIT, don't lose hope. Just go to edX, search for IIT courses, and there are online courses from all of the top universities of the world. In India, we have IIT Bombay, IIM Bangalore as our member. Globally, we cover about 18 to 90 of the top Ivy Leagues, such as Oxford, MIT, Berkeley, Columbia, Georgia Tech. There are other organizations such as IBM, Microsoft, who offer their courses on the platform. What's unique about edX is something that we love. And Indians go to work specially for that chalakta, which is free. So imagine you go to edX, whatever you want to learn, all the courses, I'm taking the liberty of say all because there are about 97% of them. So these courses you can access absolutely free. As you can see on my screen, if I have to learn something in economics, I write economics and there is a course from University of Oxford. The course duration is six weeks and a student has to study for approximately two to three hours per week. Now imagine whether you are studying full time, whether you are working full time, you can take a course from University of Oxford at your own pace and convenience. And the system gives you two options. If you just want to learn, learning is absolutely free. As you can say price, it says free. So just go to the website, select a course, enroll yourself, and you don't have to pay anything to go through the study material. You learn from the same professors who teach at the University of Oxford. And if you want to take assessments, if you want to get a certificate from University of Oxford, then you have to pay a small certificate fee, which is about $50 in this case, about 3,000 to 4,000 rupees. Now imagine three or four thousand rupees in IIT, IIM, Oxford, Berkeley, aisi jagon ke certificates mil rahe that you can put in your CV. Now imagine once you complete your education, and you write, I've done BTEC from ABC College. Plus, I have a specialization in artificial intelligence from Howard University. Now, employer ke attention immediately aapke paas jayegi. So, this is how we are revolutionizing access to education. Learning is absolutely free. If you want to go for a certificate, then pay a very small fee. And how is it different? Uh, online education has been there for about 20 years. What we are trying to do is we are just trying to replace the same learning experience that you get in class. Now imagine if your professor is talking to you. I am not going to rewind with you. If I am going to bore you, then you can't fast forward. But on edX, whenever you enroll into a course, we teach you in a weekly sequence. So you see week 1, week 2, week 3, week 4. Each week has a video. That video is about 6 to 7 minutes long. Because we know after seven minutes, your attention span starts decreasing. So you watch a video, there are subtitles available, there are transcripts available. So if you are studying the teacher, you can take the notes with your teacher. You can take the notes You can take the subtitles, transcript, watch these videos on your mobile or PC, web, wherever you want. After watching the video, there would be a knowledge test, which will really you know, understand whatever you have seen in the video. Are you able to apply that into practice or not? If you get the minimum passing marks in assessment, then only you get a certificate of completion and you move forward. And this is how the certificate of completion looks like. It has been issued by Oxford University, signed by an Oxford professor. It mentions the college and the university name here. It tells you your name, certificate date, and a verified ID. So that is the kind of digital certificate that you get. With one click, it goes into all your social media handles. Now, what we see is when we talk about all of these things, what we really see is three things are happening in education. Education is getting modular. It is getting omnichannel, and now it is lifelong. I'll quickly talk about it. When I say it is getting modular, so I mentioned that, you know, in India or at least around the world, our education is highly bundled. If you have to do an MBA, then you have to do a college in two years. If you have to do a B.Tech, then you have to do a college in four years. 
आप कॉलेज में जाके ये नहीं कह सकते मैं बीटेक का ना थर्ड सेमेस्टर का एक कोर्स करना चाह रहा हूँ ताकि मैं देख लू मुझे इसमें मजा आ रहा है नहीं आ रहा या मैं बीकॉम ले लू जाके मैं अपने पीयर प्रेशर के अंदर बीटेक ले रहा हूँ बट आई डोंट नो वेदर इट्स राइट थिंग फॉर मी और नॉट आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू कमिट माई फोर ईयर्स बट यू डोंट हैट लग्जरी टू डेटिक्स वे गिविंग यू दिस लग्जरी ना इमेजिन यू कैन गेट अ फुली ऑनलाइन मास्टर्स डिग्री फ्रॉम वन ऑफ द टॉप टेन यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ द वर्ल्ड अंडर सेवन लैख रुपीज ना यू से यार सेवन लैख रुपीज बहुत ज्यादा है मुझे नहीं पता कि इफ इट्स द राइट थिंग फॉर मी टू डू नॉट so what you can do is we say okay don't go for a full fledged degree take a micro masters now micro masters is proprietary to edx what we have done is we have made higher education modular ek masters level semester aap online kar sakte ho agar aapko analytics karna hai let's say aap btech kar rahe ho btech ke baad some students are confused ki mujhe mtech karna hai ya mujhe mba karna hai ya mujhe mca karna hai ya mujhe machine learning ki specialization mein jana hai अब जो भी चीज डिसाइड करोगे आप अपने आप को दो या तीन साल के कमिटमेंट में डाल दोगे और नेडेक्स व्हाट वी आर सेइंग इज वी आर गिविंग यू एन ऑप्शन टू टेक वन सेमेस्टर ऑनलाइन सो व्हाट इज वन सेमेस्टर ऑनलाइन लेट्स से एमआईटी ऑफर्स अ माइक्रो मास्टर्स इन सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट आई एम बैंगलोर ऑफर्स अ माइक्रो मास्टर्स इन बिजनेस मैनेजमेंट ऑन एडेक्स वेदर यू आर अ स्टूडेंट हु इज इन सेकेंड ईयर थर्ड ईयर और फोर्थ ईयर वाइल यू आर वर्किंग वाइल यू आर स्टडिंग यू कैन एनरोल इन टू माइक्रो मास्टर्स just like a university semester you can complete the university semester online you will not only get the subject matter expertise but it will give you a clear idea whether this mba from iim is the right thing for you or not and tomorrow you apply to their own campus degree and they will say okay you have already completed a micro masters which is equal to 25% of our masters curriculum so you will get preference in admission and if you are accepted they will say, they will waive off your 25% to 40% of on campus fees and time imagine while you are a btech student or a bachelor's level student you can complete a part of your masters degree online on edx which will count towards your degrees and if you don't have to do the entire semester you can just take one course like the one i showed you us one course maybe you can decide ki mujhe free wale track pe karna hai ya mujhe paid track pe karna hai so we have made education completely modular डिग्री कर सकते हो सेमेस्टर कर सकते हो या एक सिंगल कोर्स कर सकते हो और सिंगल कोर्स भी आप फ्री में कर सकते हो सो दैट इज हाउ एजुकेशन हैज गॉन मॉडल इट हैज गॉन ऑमनी चैनल जस्ट लाइक रिटेल पहले आपको सारी चीज एक नॉर्मल बनिया की शॉप पे मिलती थी एक आसपास की दुकान पे मिलती थी देन के मॉल्स वहां पर आपको मॉल्स में सारी चीजें मिलती थी एंड टूडे वी हैव बीन टॉकिंग अबाउट एन ऑमनी चैनल स्ट्रेटेजी वेर इन इफ यू हैव टू बाय अ पेयर ऑफ शू यू कैन गेट इट फ्रॉम अ स्टोर नियर यू you can go to a mall you can get it there or you can simply order it online from amazon or from the company's own online store similarly education has also gone omni channel you need not really have to invest your time and money to study at the same campus for example what we have been doing is we have been working with various universities around the world and what they are doing is they are integrating edx micro masters into their curriculum imagine you are a student who is doing btech from abc college and abc college says that you can complete a semester online on edx and you will get a specialization from us and this will count towards your degree so imagine aapka seventh semester jo hai seventh semester mein aap sirf online pad rahe ho aap apne doubts clear karne ke liye college mein aa rahe ho aur agar aapne wo online module complete kar liya you will get a micro masters from columbia or harvard the benefit will be while you are doing your graduation you will be earning a credential which will help you get a masters degree at an accelerated route so why do you have to just do btech computer science when you can have btech computer science with a specialization in data science with a specialization in machine learning artificial intelligence operations management so all of those things you can do while you are studying or while you are working full time lastly education is lifelong what you study in the campus today it will no longer be relevant in the next 5 years mujhe pata hai ki maine apne last 10 saal ke college mein jo padha tha aaj ki date mein most of those things known as obsolete those things do not apply anymore because the technology is changing so fast the world around me is changing so fast so if i have to retain my job i gave you an example of airline staff 
अगर एक एयरलाइन स्टाफ को कल को रेलिवेंट रहना है तो दे नीड टू मेक श्योर दैट दे आर ऑलवेज अप टू डेट दे कॉन्टिन्यूसली एक्वायर अ स्किल दे कॉन्टिन्यूसली नीड टू लर्न व्हिच मेक्स देम रेलिवेंट इन द फ्यूचर सो दैट्स व्हाई देयर इज एन इमेंस नीड फॉर लाइफ लॉन्ग लर्निंग टुडे वी आर वर्किंग विद अबाउट 600 प्लस एंटरप्राइजेस ऑफ द वर्ल्ड यू टॉक अबाउट कंपनीज लाइक माइक्रोसॉफ्ट आईबीएम जीई जिनपैक स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया मर्सिडीज इन सब कंपनीज में लाखों एम्प्लॉइज हैं एंड कंपनीज नो दैट दे हैव टू ट्रेन देयर एम्प्लॉइज दे कैन नॉट सिंपली से कि ठीक है आपने ये वाला कोर्स कर लिया और आपके ये क्रेडेंशियल ने आपको जॉब दे दी उसके बाद भी दे कंटीन्यूअसली इन्वेस्ट इन देयर कंटीन्यूअस लर्निंग एंड डेवलपमेंट इमेजिन मर्सिडीज के अंदर जो उनके एम्प्लॉइज जो पहले नॉर्मल कार्स बनाते थे दे हैव टू लर्न आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस they have to learn about electronic vehicles they have to learn about internet of things unko arts bhi padhna hai unko human aesthetics bhi padhna hai so they can go better at their job so lifelong learning is very crucial while working with number of clos chros around the world we see this happening so you want a second hmm yeah and in fact what we also see is and this is a survey that we did in us that also holds true for india there is usually no correlation between what you have studied as your first degree versus what you are doing after 5 to 7 years agar main khud ko hi dekhu ki maine apni jo bachelor's degree kari thi aur 5 saal baad mein kya kar raha hu usse usually koi correlation nahi hota now that holds true for about 50 to 60% people i'll take the liberty to ask who this question रूपा आपने जो अपनी फर्स्ट डिग्री करी थी वर्सेस व्हाट यू आर डूइंग टुडे क्या रिलेशन है नो सो इमेजिन यू नीड टू कंटीन्यूअसली लर्न न्यू स्किल्स राइट इफ यू डोंट एक्वायर अ न्यू स्किल यू विल नॉट रिमेन रेलेवेंट सो दैट इज द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ कंटीन्यूअस लर्निंग लाइफ लॉन्ग लर्निंग एंड वी आर वर्किंग विद ऑल द टॉप एकेडमिक्स वी आर वर्किंग विद ऑल द टॉप कॉर्पोरेट्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड टू ब्रिज दिस गैप टू ब्रिज द गैप बिटवीन अ यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफरिंग and the kind of skill set that you require at work today proudly we are the world's largest e learning platform with 50 million plus learners 100 million plus enrollments but lastly my parting note would be especially to all the students over here getting a degree is very important right it gives you a livelihood however if you really want to make a fortune make sure that you acquire a skill set a skill set is going to make you a fortune while a degree is going to give you a livelihood so make your choices wisely when you are doing your full time job or you are a full time student make sure you continuously invest in your upskilling in your continuous development to remain relevant for the future so that's it now uh, that's for that's my time i'm going to take a pause here i'll stop screen sharing and answer any questions that you might be having now thank you so much for having me Yeah, thanks, Amit. Amit, could you actually demonstrate our students uh, and discover the course of edX and start learning for free? Sure. Yeah. So, okay, we still have time. I'm gonna share my screen. Are you able to see me, or is that? We are able to. See, we are able to see you, but your, uh, you know, the stable video we could see. There is no movement. Okay, let me turn off the cam. Let me reopen it. Is it any better now? No. I can see the video. That's fine. I'll keep it turned off for now. Yeah, you can share the screen and show, demonstrate to the audience. Okay. guys we have been talking about online education we have been talking about online courses i'll spend next 5 minutes to really tell you how exactly can you do that if you have a laptop handy if you have a mobile handy i would recommend you to try the same along with me open your browsers and open this app edx.org this website is going to open up you can see if you want to learn something specific you can go to all of these areas whatever you are interested in these things are here these are subject areas 
and inside every subject areas we have a number of courses or let's say i just want to learn artificial intelligence so i write artificial intelligence now system is going to show me all the courses that i have on artificial intelligence we have courses from harvard university columbia microsoft ibm now you make a choice what you want to learn or let's say this course looks interesting artificial intelligence for everyone masters the basic it is by ibm i'll open this course it tells me about 38000 students are already taking it it tells me in plain clear english what will i learn so i can make a conscious call whether this course is a right fit for me or not it is 4 weeks long and you are required to study for about 1 to 2 hours per week it says free to enroll and if you want a certificate pay 3700 rupees 50 dollars for it i'll click on enroll because i've already logged in here so the system will not ask me to log in but if you are a student you click on enroll the system will ask you to either create a free account which you can do it takes less than a minute or you can simply enter your id and password and log in because i was already logged in it is not giving me two choices go for the certificate track or learn for free audit this track so i click on audit this track okay it tells me i have access for one month this course is 4 weeks long i have at least 4 weeks of free access to it if i like this course i can upgrade by july 18th to get the certificate of completion i can scroll down and here is module 1 2 3 4 i can click on start course and go one by one or just for the sake of demonstration i'll quickly jump to module 1 and i'll go to a particular video At IBM, we define AI as anything that makes machines act more intelligently. We like to think of AI as op Rupa, can you hear the audio as well? Yeah, yeah. I could hear. Now, a lot of students would think ki yeah, foreign faculty hai, mujhe uska accent nahi samajh mein aayega. I need to learn it i need to understand this at my own pace so you can adjust the voice modulation ab isko 0.75 bhi kar sakte ho 0.5 bhi kar sakte ho you can also increase it so if this is the normal video speed of augmented intelligence we believe that ai should not attempt to replace human experts but rather extend human capabilities and accomplish tasks so now you can see that it has slowed down so whatever kind of learner that you are आप क्लास में प्रोफेसर को नहीं बोल सकते कि सर आप धीरे बोलो मुझे समझ में नहीं आ रहा कुछ बच्चे बोलेंगे सर आप बहुत स्लो बोल रहे हो बट ओवर हियर यू कैन ऑलवेज एडजस्ट द वे दे स्पीक देर आर ट्रांसक्रिप्ट्स अवेलेबल सो यू डोंट हैव टू मेक नोट्स देर आर सब टाइटल्स व्हिच आर अपीयरिंग ओवर हियर दिस इज अ वर्ल्ड मोस्ट एक्सेसिबल लर्निंग प्लेटफार्म सो व्हिच मींस इफ अ स्टूडेंट हैज डिस्लेक्सिया इफ अ स्टूडेंट हैज स्पीच इंपेयरमेंट विजुअल इंपेयरमेंट they can still use the compatible devices and access all the courses on edx you've seen this video go to next then there is another video then there could be a group discussion as you saw in the starting of the video 38000 students 37500 something students are enrolled into this course so at least few thousand would be taking the same course with you live right now from all over the world imagine you are watching a video you are watching a course you have any question any doubt you would think class mein to professor se hum fir bhi pooch sakte hain online kaise pooche agar ye pre recorded video hai to then you can go to discussions any doubt that you have doesn't matter as basic as it could be you simply write it over here it goes to the course team and within 7 minutes you will get a response you will get a response either from the course team from the professor or from a student who might be sitting in us or canada or china taking the same course with you 
So this is the power of social learning. While sitting in India at any village, you are taking a course from IBM and you are studying in a class which is being attended simultaneously by students from all over the world. So this is how we have made education. There is a progress report card. As you take assessments, this graph starts increasing. Once you get the minimum passing marks, you get a certificate of completion that I've showed you how it looks like. Remember the Oxford certificate? So this is how one can go to edX and imagine if you leave this course here, you can simply close it. The next time you open edX, log in and go here and it says resume your last course. It will start from the same place where you have left it from. So this is how the whole learning experience on edX looks like. So Rupa, I hope this has given a very clear picture to all of our audience sitting here today on how they can go to edX, take a course from a top ranking university and learn absolutely free. Yes, Amit, very clear. Yeah. Yeah. So Amit, moving ahead, uh, do you think online learning is as strong as formal traditional learning in the classroom? Oh, it is actually. Uh, but the, see, the problem that we see in India today, hmm. in Delhi, you can get good quality education. In Mumbai, Bangalore, you can get good quality education. Hmm. But if you go to a tier 3 town in UP or Haryana, hmm. you can the college mein aapko same teachers in the same college, which will get IIT. Hmm. Hmm. So the role of technology is to really help that teacher to hmm. teach him in a better manner. Hmm. So that teacher can actually come to edX, see how that IIT professor is teaching, Hmm. Play that video in his class, watch it with the students and say, okay, ye aapko concept samaj mein aaya. and then they can work alongside student to build up case studies on it. So hmm. machines can never be as superior as humans. We hmm. have created them. We need to master it. And I always say that if a teacher believes she can be replaced by a machine, that teacher should be replaced. Hmm. Machines are there to make their life efficient, hmm. not to educate them. Okay. So do you think the shift to the virtual learning could mean uh, for the first, uh, for the future of the higher education? Uh, okay. So what I understood is you are asking uh, the future of education could be about online learning. Yeah. It's what a virtual feel, learning. Virtual learning. What I feel is uh, during lockdown, we have seen all the schools, colleges have evolved into online learning. Hmm. Right. Some are just doing it for time being, but some really like this format. Hmm. So this is going to be there for a long time. In future, what we see is there is going to be a blended learning. Like what is the class in today's date? Teacher will go, a book will be a lecture, book will be a book, and teachers will be with each other. Hmm. A lot of precious time is wasted. A teacher has come to a level after achieving certain experience. So hmm. she can do way more than simply reading from the book. So with blended learning, what can happen if a teacher is teaching operations management or digital marketing, hmm. she can tell the students that this is the link for an online course. Chai aapko edX se karna ho, chai Coursera se karna ho, chai YouTube se karna ho, Udemy se karna ho. Ya unhone apne online courses create kare ho. They can hmm. simply give that link to the student and say, watch this 20 minutes video. Kal hum class mein milte hain. Aur iske upar jo tumne sikha, hum uske baare mein discuss karenge. Hmm. Ke digital hmm. marketing. So that will be experiential learning, that will be blended learning. Hmm. So I think this is what the future of education is going to be. Hmm. Learners hmm. will complete a part of their course online hmm. and then they will interact in campuses with their peers for their holistic development. Hmm. Hmm. So would you think that industry is going to accept such kind of online programs or certifications in the future? Absolutely, they are already doing it. Uh, as I mentioned, we are working with about 600 plus companies around the world. Hmm. They invest a heavy amount on edX hmm. to upskill existing people. Hmm. Now imagine the State Bank of India would pay us, let's say, $100 to hmm. train one of their employee on data science. Hmm. Now tomorrow, someone who is a fresh graduate goes hmm. and applies for a job. Hmm. And he says, I have done ABC, plus I already have a professional certificate or a micro master's in data science from Harvard University, hmm. that person is ought to get more attention. 
company knows that they are already paying edx and here is an employee who is already bringing the edx credential hmm. so they will hmm. more prints and i'm again hmm. going to share my screen and show you something which is really fantastic okay Just so tech mahindra who has about 120000 employees you could not uh, view the screen uh, yeah just one second. Yes. one second yeah yeah okay so we are working with tech mahindra to upskill their entire population of about 1.25 lakh employees what they have done they feel कि हमारे पास जो एग्जिस्टिंग एम्प्लॉज हैं हम उनकी ट्रेनिंग पे पैसा खर्च कर रहे हैं दे ऑलवेज लुक फॉर ब्राइट टैलेंट हु इज जॉब रेडी सो वट देव डन देव गिवन अ गारंटेड इंटरव्यू अपॉर्चुनिटी टू एनी वन टेक महिंद्रा वॉन्ट्स वर्कर्स इन इंडिया टू बी जॉब रेडी सो देव पार्टनर्ड विद अस देव सेलेक्टेड नाइन एरियाज एंड दे से एनी वन इन इंडिया हु कंप्लीट वन ऑफ दिस प्रोग्राम ऑन एडेक्स कैन अप्लाई फॉर अ जॉब एट टेक महिंद्रा एंड डैट पर्सन Going to get a guaranteed job opportunity, an interview opportunity. Now imagine the reason why everyone wants to go to IITs and IIMs is not because of the fun of the learning. But सबको पता है IIT IIM में हो गया तो वहाँ से campus placement बहुत अच्छी मिलेगी. मेरे घर के पास वाला जो college है वहाँ तो कोई employer या recruiter नहीं आता. This thing is actually changing it all. You are changing your game. So it doesn't matter. And this is my proposition to all the students. you see this thing whatever comes to your mind take this course and you have a large employer who is willing to give you a guaranteed interview opportunity similarly there are more so you just have to look it out okay so how does ms the edx add value to the students across various countries most important trends for future of uh, e learning and development and especially the career opportunities for the students So I just told you about uh, how edX certificate adds value to your profile. Students mm -hmm. who have completed a course, or they are currently doing a course, or working professionals or teachers mm -hmm. can get certifications from a top-ranking institute from edX, mm -hmm. and there are corporates who give recognition to those credentials. And the trends I have already told you, which are happening in education, which is modular, mm -hmm. lifelong, and omni-channel. Okay. So, how does edX engages with universities, your colleges, or of course schools? Any specific partnership models you have for schools or colleges? Yes. So, uh, currently we only work with top ranking institutes of the world. From hmm. India, we have IIT and IIM, who hmm. are the only two partners who can go online and create their courses. Hmm. If a college wants to go online, they want to put their courses, they can reach out to edX team. and apply for a membership if they are really good at what they are doing we will give them a membership and put their courses online hmm hmm for some reasons they cannot go online on edx we give them a free platform we call it open edx you put your own courses on your own website just like edx and go online hmm okay so which courses are the most enrolled courses during covid 19 time or as such in india on edx platforms okay so there is a multitude of courses uh i thought that there would be courses like ai ml data science internet of things however the best performing courses right now are soft skills science of happiness at work hmm. it is a tough situation we are hmm. losing the social connect so we want to remain happy a lot of people are taking courses on science of happiness at work hmm hmm Can you tell us some of your partnership with leading technology business schools across the world in offering joint programs, nano degrees, or certifications? Yeah, I just cited an example of ITU where in one okay. mm -hmm. one semester they are not teaching anything. Okay. They placed one semester coaching with the NEDX Micro Masters. Mm -hmm. We have partnered with Jain University. Mm -hmm. We have partnered with the three hundred plus colleges in India. We have already integrated edX courses into their curriculum. In fact, what we did during COVID is we gave five thousand free coupons to every college around the world. Three hundred colleges from India have signed up for it. And hmm. while the students could not come to the campuses, they said, "Okay, you are a first-year student. 
this is a course let's say data science from harvard university this is a course the certificate fee is 100 dollars this is a coupon if you apply the coupon you don't have to pay the certificate fee it becomes free hmm. so india has 300 plus institutes who are doing this right now while we are talking so hmm. that's how we started with them okay Avet, could you just share with uh, us uh, three success mantras for the viewers, especially the students, uh, for the great employability skills or to make up their career in the technology space? I wish if I could be learned enough to tell you three success mantras, I'm still trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. uh, what I know is, if you don't have good marks, it doesn't mean that you have a label on it. I really sucked during my, I would say, 12th. उस टाइम पे जो मेरा जो रिजल्ट आया था आई थिंक गिर पड़ के 65% आए थे हम इन ग्रेजुएशन आई समहाउ गेट इनटू अ गुड इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज आई कुड नॉट क्रैक आई एम बट आई मैनेज सम वे टू गेट इनटू ऑक्सफोर्ड राइट सो ऑल ऑफ योर पर्सनेंस डजंट मैटर आप जो आज कर रहे हो उसमें अगर आपको एक चीज में सक्सेस नहीं मिल रही तो यू हैव टू लूज योर होप्स टुडे देयर आर सो मेनी करियर ऑप्शंस आई एम श्योर ऑल ऑफ यू वॉच बीबीके की वाइंस राइट There is a new career option. You can become a stock broker, a digital marketing expert. If you don't have anything, you can make good communication skills with your videos, a blogger or a YouTuber. So, the first career choice was limited. Today, they are enamorous. All you need to do is make sure you have a skill set, enhance it, hone it, and there are plenty of ways available to make money, you can be successful. I would reiterate why I work for MIT, which is a top university. But just a thappa doesn't really define your potential. You need to really work on your skill set and prove your mettle. Hmm, hmm. That's it. Yeah, Amit, coming to the audience questions. Hmm. Uh, Shivani from Ikfai University. She is putting across a question. There is a rampant increase in the COVID cases. Do you have any plans for the ones who had a graduated this year or going to get graduated as the career would be a scarce of opportunities? As a career would be the scar of opportunities. The scar of opportunities. I could not really understand that, but what I could somehow get contextually. You can. Is, it's mean like that. The shortfall in the opportunities, uh, in the job opportunities. You mean okay, to say that? Right. So yes. Uh, globally, there are. Uh, so for example, you need to understand that this is not a economic recession right now. Hmm, hmm. Uh, we have an optimistic view about it that this is time sensitive. The markets and industries have not crashed due to a recession right now. Hmm. A recession hmm. might be around the corner due to this epidemic. Global economies are in a slowdown. Hmm. But I think moving forward, the markets are going to open up. The jobs are going to come back again. So I would say use this time to upskill yourself, to really add value to your profile. So when the job markets really open up, you're not really seeking a job just on the basis of a certificate, but the added skills that you have required. So it's just a matter of time. Okay. Next question from Komali of uh, Chaitanya Bharati Institute of Engineering. How does an online platform help students prepare for the real world? Right. So an online platform, as I said, is a complementer. An online platform actually tells you an online platform like edX really helps you identify your strength, what you want to do and what you may not want to do. As I showed you, you're sitting in a classroom of students who are around the world. Hmm. Use the discussion forums. Discuss with them what the scope of data science in your country, in your country. If you are sitting in your college, you will get 40 or 50 students in your college. If you are doing online courses, you will get 30,000 students, 20,000 students. Where you can ask your questions, you can take their real experience and learn from that. So this is what we are saying that, you know, we are doing a change at a scale and we are placing you in a virtual classroom of thousands of learners around the world. So you know how to make the best of it. Yeah. Amit, one more good thing I would like to say that uh, total we have 420 as of now, the audience on live. That's a nice number. 400 beats, yeah. huh? <laughs> it keeps on increasing anyways. Then the, coming to the next question by Anoma, the College of Engineering, Pune. What are the biggest and the most important challenges of switching from traditional to the virtual learning platforms? 
and how can these challenges be faced in the light of current crisis i would say current crisis has actually given you a nudge so you don't really have to make an extra effort to hmm. switch from traditional to online it's like hmm. demonetization which hmm. which happened earlier earlier hmm. modi ne account ban kar diye the to uske baad aapko paytm use karna hi pada similarly hmm. aaj ki date mein colleges band hain so you don't have an option but to adapt online learning colleges cannot remain silent they cannot just say ki theek hai apne aap ko jo karna hai wo karo they have to adapt online learning and by hmm. doing so they have realized the merit students hmm. have the merit teachers have understood the merit and managements have understood it so i think nudge has already happened so don't really have to make any change right now it is already happening so a question put across by soa university sumit uh, sumit aditya how edx learning platform is different from coursera while it is all, almost similar facilities of learning the coursera is also offering right so that's a really nice question i wish i could duck it but sumit uh, that's a smart one i'll tell you edx is the only company in the world which is non profit today you go to coursera and you look at their courses if you want to enroll into a course a uh, majority of their courses will ask you for a paid subscription it's like netflix ki 7 din ya 30 days ka aapko free trial milega and uske baad you have to pay but edx being a non profit our mission is to make sure ki aapko jab bhi jo bhi padhna ho padhai ke liye koi paise nahi hai so today edx is the only platform of the world from which you can go take a course from a top ranking university absolutely free try and experience the same thing on coursera i doubt if you'll be able to find it okay so next question put across by gokul of pragati engineering college will edx provide certificates and also course for free of cost yes right now as i mentioned we are giving about 5000 free certificates to every college so whichever university or college that you are studying in hmm. reach out to your dean and ask them have they applied for edx online campus program all the details are there on the website now that is for the colleges but if you are a student and you like a course and you want to go for a certificate and you feel you don't have 10000 rupees 15000 rupees or 5000 rupees to pay for a certificate then edx also gives you financial assistance apply for a financial assistance and if you meet the criteria then you will get a certificate absolutely free 40% of our global fund for financial assistance goes for india okay next question anita by parul university are internships available in edx website oh uh, right now for us so anita if you have a us visa apply for a us internship we are exploring to open internships in india but we don't have a legal entity as yet so we are a bit careful not to open in internships right now uh, but keep a look out on it and in case edx is not available for an internship i found this website internshala.com that's a great platform check it out for your internships okay there is one student from lovely professional university sir there are any discount codes or promo codes which are you which we can use for edx platform yeah lovely professional university ko to maine khud course diye hain so five thousand coupons are given to lovely professional university check hmm. with your me check with your uh, college management we have given a coupon and by the way the coupon that we have given to them is only valid until 30th so make sure you get the coupon and apply the coupon in the next one or two days and agar college coupon nahi deta to edx ki website pe jao and uh, take a course on free track financial assistance available hai and lovely professional university mein itne paise deke gaye ho to hamari sustainability ke liye you could afford some certification fee and one more question uh, that they were asking is there any cyber security uh, courses available on the edx platform yes we have uh, over 50 courses available on cyber security on edx platform agar aapko ek chhota course karna hai to wo bhi available hoga aapko agar pura micro masters karna hai professional certificate karna that is available and in fact that is coming from rochester institute of technology which is one of the top ranking university of the world who provides a uh, cyber security to united states department of defense so they are a pioneer in what they are doing 
So I would say for cyber security, they're one of the top most university and their courses are available absolutely free on the platform. Okay. So Amit, would you uh, like to share any inputs or anything about the session? Well, uh, I just saw the number and I was absolutely fascinated. How did you manage to get 400 plus students on a Saturday evening? Right. So initially when Rupa reached out to me, guys, I was a bit skeptical that Saturday Sham ko itne sare bache India ke itne hai ki aayenge. But I could see that still there are 360 plus students who are still listening to me for over an hour. So that is 385. 385. 85, yeah, see. So thank you for bearing me for more than an hour. And I would say this actually deserves a huge round of applause to our organizer Rupa here who has been continuously reaching out to me from multiple channels to make sure that the student community actually benefits. She has been working tirelessly. I had a look at their profile and they're doing an amazing job. So there are people who are relentless to provide you something meaningful. So really thanks for what you're doing, Rupa. I wish there are more educators like you in the world. But the change that you're making today, huge round of applause to you. Thank you, Amit. Thank you, Amit, for this valuable time and inputs you had given for the session. I believe our audience would have enjoyed the session a lot. And I would also like to thank the foundations like Ambuja, ICICI, and companies like Infosys, TCS, HCL, Wipro, Honeywell, Amazon, and colleges like IIT Delhi, IIT Kanpur, IIT Indore, uh, sorry, I am Indore, IIT Karakpur, I am Lucknow, I am Kozikot. And universities like lovely professional university, GD Goenka, ICFI, Chandigarh University, North Cap University, JCRC, Manav Rachna University, Dalgotia University, GL Bajaj, Graphic Era, Maharaja Agrasena College, College of uh, Pragati Engineering College, Nanda Engineering College, Chaitanya Bharti, KL University, MIT, Amrita Vishwavidyapitam, Jaipuria Institute of Management, Nanda Engineering College, Dr. B.C. Roy Engineering College, Srimati Shushila Devi Institute of Engineering, IBS, Shanti Business School, Vigyan Institute of Information, Siddha Ganga Institute of Technology, BMS Institute of Technology, Bharat Institute of Technology, uh, College of Engineering, Pune, Maulana Abdul Kalam Azad University, GS Lohia Girls College, the Heritage School, Eluru College of Engineering, Andhra University, JNTU, Vishweshwaraya Institute of Technology, Parul Institute of Engineering and Technology, Walchan Institute of Technology, Dr. Bhimrav Ambedkar University, Dialbagh Educational Institute, Karpagam Academy of Higher Education, Vadodara Institute of Engineering, Institute of Technical Education, Siksha or Anusadan University. And we also have the schools like Ashok Leyland Public School, Sunbeam School, Sun City, SD Public School, Sarvodaya Public School, Indraprastha International School, Mahendra World School, DPS International, Genesis Global School, Platinum Jubilee High School, GD Goenka International, Lubel, Amity International School, Das and Brown World School, Moga Devi Minda Memorial School, Ajanta Public School, Tamla Nehru Public School, Bharati Public School, Sophia's Girls Senior Secondary School, and Shri Sai Public School. Thank you everyone for your valuable time and active participation. We look forward for our upcoming session. Uh, so upcoming session would be a live talk show with the AICT Deputy Director, Ms. Neetu Bhagat, which would be on 4th July, Saturday, 7 to 8 p.m. So we look forward to see you at that session. Have a great weekend. Stay home. Stay safe. Thank you once Bye. again Amit, for this wonderful session. Thank you. Bye. We also thank Amit for the support.